Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. In the last episode, we just crawled through the hole that just magically appeared in our bathroom. And when we came out the other side, we were riding this escalator going down. A couple things I want to mention. I couldn't remember the main character's name in the last episode. I just looked it up. It's Henry Townsend. Henry Townsend. I think the Henry part's going to be hard because it sounds so similar to Harry. And I think when I first played Silent Hill 1, I thought Harry's name might be Henry, and I wasn't sure. But yeah, this character's name is Henry. Not Harry. Henry. 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 Henry Townsend. Think Devin Townsend, but Henry Townsend. Uh, another thing, I still can't get over how weird the walking animation is for Henry. So weird! And look at this. Some sort of floating moonwalk thing, I don't know. Okay, um, let's get familiar with the items that we have and how to use them. Oh. E for equipped, I guess. Uh, I don't want to accidentally drink this when I don't need it. So it looks like they got rid of the whole inventory screen that was a thing in um, Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3. There's like a unified place where you use items and equip items and look at your health. It looks like that's gone. Right? Yeah. I just press the uh, the X button on my Xbox 360 controller and it just opens up this thing at the bottom left of the screen and then I can use the D-pad. Looks like, yeah, just the D-pad allows me to scroll through them. And then, and then it's the X button again to equip them. So that's very different. Let's see if attacking works the same way. Is that a stamina meter? Whoa. Maybe that's not a stamina meter. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's my own health? But it doesn't go down when I attack. Then there's also that, like, dial thing just to the right of the blue bar, the one that fills up. I think it's... Like, if I hold it down, it does that. And then it flashes, release it big attack so yeah i think it's just like a, a wind up on your attack the further you fill it up the more damage it does yeah that big attack is real big look at henry just wildly swinging looks like they almost lose their balance oh some vicious hitting sounds looks like you can attack in groups of like Two slash three, kind of? It's like two fast ones and then like a final thwomp over the head. It's weird. When you do a strong attack that doesn't build up all the way, that yellow thing will not go away instantly. It starts to go down as if it is like some stamina used meter, but I don't think it is. And then if you get it all the way to the end, then you get a strong attack. So is there such a thing as like a half attack? No, it looks like you have to get that meter all the way to the end if you want a strong attack, otherwise you just get a normal attack. So there's no point in like taking it halfway like this and then releasing it. That's just a normal attack. Just getting used to the weapons, because this combat is very different. Um, it also looks like, it looks like whenever you press the ready your weapon button, your character gets locked into looking in that direction. So like I can't turn where my character's looking. I don't think. I can move the camera a little bit. But yeah, I can't make them look a different way unless I close it, then open it up again, and I'm stuck looking that way, so if I need to, like, adjust where I'm looking, I might have to exit the ready weapon for a second and then go back into it. It might track enemies. Like, it might automatically lock onto enemies, and that'll keep you oriented correctly. We'll see. Starting to think... Oh no, I can run. It's just, uh, I think it's a different button than it was before. Okay. Oh. Someone at the end of the hallway. I think that's the person that we saw outside the window. Going down to the subway or something. Which may or may not be the same person we saw outside our door who dropped some stuff in front of it. South Ashfield.
Who are you? What's your name? Henry. And you? <laughs> this is my dream and you don't even know my name. It's Cynthia. Your dream. That's right. <laughs> this is just a dream. And a really terrible one, too. I hope I wake up soon. So you think this is a dream, huh? Well, if it's not a dream, what is it? Anyway, I want to get out of here, but I can't find the exit. Will you help me find it? I'm kind of scared all alone. I'll do a special favor for you later. <laughs> it's just a dream, so I might as well have some fun. They really think it's just a dream. And that I'm in it. So we're in some sort of shared dream. They're in, I think, a similar situation to us. Are they following me now? Oh, they are. Uh. Okay. I don't know if I can lead you to the exit. I mean, I guess if it is a dream, yeah, have some fun. But thing is, it's not. I'm sorry. It's not just a real, real lucid dream. It's something else. Information, quote unquote. Where the Lynch Street line and the King Street line. Is this really South Ashfield Station? Wait, do I have a do I have a map? Oh, I do. Yeah, the button that goes to my scrapbook now just goes to a map, and then from within the map, I can enter the scrapbook. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, this is very different. This is also actually very, very different. Yeah, so normally in the Silent Hill games, you find a map physically in the world, and it has the entire place laid out for you. So you, you can see the whole layout of the place once you find the map, because it's, you know a proper map that someone else has made and then you just fill in any details that you find like this door is locked this door is not locked or there's something important here but this map you don't find i'm guessing that's uh, that's probably how it is for the whole game you don't need to find maps you just make them yourself but that means you don't get to see what the whole thing looks like you have to map it yourself things only appear when you go there that's an interesting change Oh, do they not follow me down here? Fair enough. Some kind of advertisement, there's nothing interesting about it. Wait a minute. Oh. 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 I think I'm gonna puke. Oh. They're not coming back out, are they? my introduction to fighting 
Why the tongue's so long? Those are some very sick dogs slash... Oh, oh, they're... Oh, they're drinking. They sound kind of like, I don't know, lions or cougars or something, but they look sort of like dogs, and oh, that is a very intense straw drinking sound. Um... Yeah, that's definitely my health up there. Can I stomp? Yes. Those are some really disturbing enemy designs. Yeah, they look sort of like dogs. They sound like... What is it? Uh, is it a, the puma that makes that sort of noise? then they also suck blood using uh, they're not tongues they're something else they're they're uh tentacles i guess i should probably try to heal myself i can't use this here what i can't use it on myself you can't drink the chocolate milk Okay. Yeah, I got hurt quite a bit there. I'm down to like 70%. What is, what is that noise? Looks like there's no one in there. Where did they go? I'm liking this camera angle. Oh, is that the men's? Maybe they're in this one. Uh, where could this crazy hole lead to? Enter the hole. No. This is a big hole, surrounded by some sort of symbol. Probably the symbol that created it, or a symbol that protects it or something? I don't know, it doesn't look like the symbol that we've seen in the other games. The symbol of protection or whatever it is. Um, yep, just a big hole on the map. Let's go this way. What's that noise? There's a dog over there. It's a coin dispenser for the Lynch Street line, but it's broken and I can't use it. This thing really does not do much damage. Yeah, 
Yeah, now I'm at 50%. Yeah, I hit that three times with the strongest attack. Does crap for damage. Some kind of station guide, but the text is all blurry. It's totally useless. Turnstile office. Is there a way to look at the description for this thing again? For what I'm holding, the weapon? When I first got it, there was a description, but now how do I look at a description? Whoa. Wait, what is... Is that button just... Set the camera directly over the shoulder? Sorta? No. No, not quite. Just like a reorient camera kind of thing, but a very different way than it was for the other Silent Hills. Payphone, but it's broken. At least the weird green lights work. Chemistry line. Sorry, where's the thing? Where's the office? That's... Oh, these, like, ticket information places. I don't think I can actually enter them. I don't even see how you would get inside of them. I don't even know where their doors are. It's letting... What the fuck? Uh, I'm gonna go back this way. I don't have enough health or a good enough weapon for me to feel comfortable attacking those two dogs plus the weird undulating beetle thing. King Street Line exit. Oh, I can't go there. Entrance. Yeah, not even an option to go there. Guess these things just don't turn, or I don't have a ticket or whatever. Oh, I think that said it. Something about a coin. Yeah, okay. So I guess that means either through the hole or towards those extra creepy enemies. Um, I'm gonna go in the hole. Enter the hole. Do I get to crawl through this one too? Please let me crawl through it. Aw, oh, damn, I don't get to. Wait, we're back in my room? What? Another dream. But it seems so real. Or could it be? Was I really inside that woman's dream? Ah, oh, that's just stupid. What am I thinking? My health is back to full. Oh, I can free dial a number. You know, you could actually see what the number was that um, Henry dialed last episode. I remember actually looking at it and kind of like mentally noting it, but then thinking, well, what's that going to matter? I can't dial it, but now I can. Okay, I went back and looked at the video. The number <clears throat> that Henry entered seemed to be 555-2495. Five, 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 five. Now, 
No answer, just like I thought. Wait, so... Does it say that always, no matter what you dial, or did I dial that number correctly? Oh, it just always says that. A lot of small items here, but none of them particularly interesting. Yeah, uh, Henry, definitely not just a dream, because you still have the items on you, dude. No face in the wall. That's good. No hole. Wait, no. <laughs> I was looking the wrong way. Never mind, there's still a hole. Okay. Wait a second, this table's moved. Yeah, it's been moved. Furniture has been here since I moved in. Huh? That's weird. Somebody moved it. Straighten it? Yes. Whoa. We have a pistol. Who could have done it? There's a pistol on the floor. Let's take it. Easy to use handgun, but not much stopping power. Holds ten rounds, just like the old pistol from the other Silent Hills. Looks like there's some writing on the wall, too. There's a message carved in here. Looks like they used an ice pick or something. The faint hope I had is slowly changing to despair. I've somehow managed to tunnel this far, but no matter what I do, I can't get any farther. The hallway, the windows, the walls. Feels like this room is stuck in another dimension. Aileen never noticed. Is it Aileen or Aileen? I think it's Aileen. This sounds like it was written by me. Aileen was the name of the person out in the hallway that dropped some stuff. Maybe, maybe we did that in our sleep. Yeah, nothing new there. Hey, is that another chocolate milk on the table? Kind of looks like it. Nah, can't do anything with it. Let's look outside. Different people doing different things. There's actually a lot of people in the windows, like basically every window. I think this is just the coolest thing that you're trapped in your own apartment, locked from the inside. You can stare out the window at looks like normal life outside. Nobody can seem to see you or hear you. You can't open your window. You can just bang silently. Nobody notices. It's terrifying. It's a little bit different from what Silent Hill normally is. Because normally Silent Hill is basically complete isolation, right? You're in all this creepy, incomprehensible, dangerous stuff, and there's nobody else really around. But this one, there are people around. There's signs of normal life. Just you can't reach it, and they can't reach you, but it's just there out of reach. Did the handprints change? Was there always two lines of handprints? I don't remember. But 
But yeah, it's like this room is flickering between different dimensions. And in one of the dimensions, this person, uh, Walter, was inside of it, and we weren't. And they wanted to make sure nobody else went out there, because there maybe is bad stuff. So they locked it up, and then dimensions kept shifting, and they were gone, but we were here. That's what it feels like. It feels like it was locked in a different dimension. Still can't take any of this stuff? Nope. Okay. Don't suppose we've uh, been out to the store for some extra chocolate milk that I can't drink? Going back out the hole then. Oh, I didn't save it, did I? Eh, that's fine. I'll just do a state save. This is a different place. So now that hole takes me here instead of the escalator. Okay. Dogs are still there. Guess I'm just back to having to go to where those other two dogs were. At least I've got my health back. I think I hear dogs. Please let me see. Thank you. Right, that's just back towards the escalator. Looks like it sort of just ends on the map. That's why I thought maybe I hadn't been there. But I wonder why that dog sound disappeared. Should I shoot the dogs is the question. Given how many hits it took before, I think I should. Okay, how does aiming work? Is it automatic? Oh, whoa. Pistol is actually surprisingly powerful against these dogs. I feel bad because this after I shot the one dog and it was down, the other dog just kind of laid down and was just chilling. Maybe they wouldn't have attacked me? No, they definitely would have attacked me. I like how dodging is actually a thing now. That was never a thing in the previous Silent Hills. Like, if you manage to dodge anything, it was definitely not intended, but rather just like a magical grace of the gods that you have been allowed using the weird tank controls to actually dodge something because everything was just so slow like usually couldn't move while attacking and you know you couldn't really strafe side to side whoa oh there's actually a side dodge not just side move but a side dodge okay that's actually really important um yeah, you were lucky if you were able to avoid anything, and it was pretty damn rare, but here... I think you're supposed to. Especially with these dogs. They're sort of a, uh... 
there's sort of a waiting for them to attack thing. You notice where they're like looking at you. It looks like they're preparing to rush you. And you're kind of just like waiting for them to come at you so you can move to the side and then hit them. What the fuck is that worm? Wait a minute. That diameter of that hole seems familiar. Did this thing make the hole that I used to get here? Maybe not the huge, huge one, but the small one in my apartment. somewhere up into the roof. Dare I touch it? Okay, nothing happens. Dare I try to hit it? Mm. It bled. Okay, I attacked it for literally about a minute straight. It uh, bleeds a lot, but I don't think it's gonna die. <laughs> oh. Well, where do I go then? Oh, can I go behind it? Oh, I can. Pistol bullets. Small diameter bullets for use in the quote unquote pistol. Not very powerful. So, wait a minute. I've suddenly realized something else about this inventory system. Yeah. Uh, this inventory system is nice in that it allows you to see your items a lot faster uh, in a lot more kind of intuitive way without having to open a whole menu. But. One thing about it that I'm sure is deliberate, that actually changes kind of the pace of combat, is that because you're not entering a separate menu where everything pauses, if you want to switch weapons or reload, you have to do that in real time, while you're being attacked, if you're in a fight. That's huge, actually. Oh. Should be able to get to the street this way, but it's a dead end. Well, now I really don't know where to go. Yeah, that was locked. Do I go back to the room? So I was supposed to go through the big hole again. Maybe? So every time I go through the big hole, it doesn't just take me back to my apartment, it seems to start like a whole new day. This is my bed. Yes. Yes it is. You know... I wonder something. Maybe I am supposed to dial this number out here. Bar Southfield, 3750. That noise just now. What was that? I don't know if that helped, but that was something. Can I look at these windows? 
can't open the window. Ooh, I can look at this one. Wait, is this the windows? No, this isn't the window I was looking at before. A slightly different one, but it's basically, I mean, it's facing the same direction, just slightly to the side. I don't think that really changes anything. Hey, this is important. This picture on the wall. It's a photo of the lighthouse near the lake in Silent Hill. It feels a little bit lonely for a tourist town, but it's a nice place to relax and heal your soul. Oh, God. Did you, uh, stay there for a while, Henry? Relax and heal your soul? Christ, it sounds like even if you're not in Silent Hill, if you just stay there for a while, you're just fucking cursed. I wasn't expecting to see anything about Silent Hill because this isn't set in Silent Hill, but that's very interesting. Maybe Silent Hill isn't a place, but a state of mind. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but yeah, they've been to Silent Hill. Quick shot I took in downtown Silent Hill. Nice tourist town, about a half day's drive from here. Oh, half day's drive, so we're near. Very near. Oh, did I need to do something with the hole? The baby hole? <laughs> 